The mid function is used to return the characters from the middle of a text string given a starting position and length. So for example, I've got my phone number here with the area code. Let's say I just want the area code in a separate column. We can use the mid function by typing in equals mid, and there you go, returns the characters from the middle of a text string given a starting position and length. Hit the tab key to pop it open. First thing it says, where's the text? Well, it's over here in cell D16. Then to go to the next argument, hit comma on the keyboard. Now the start number is in bold. And where do you want to start the count? Well, if you look over here, the area code has a parenthesis. So we don't want to start at the parentheses, which is number one. We want to start at number two. So we'll go ahead and type in the number two, and then comma, and then the number of characters we want to return after it begins the count. We want to return 3, so go ahead and type in 3, hit enter, and hey, wasn't that fun? One final thought is that if you've got an input mask, meaning that it's just for your viewing pleasure, the parentheses, but it's not really found up here, as you can see in the formula bar, that means that as far as the count goes, you want to start with number 1 and not number 2 because the parentheses wouldn't be included in the count because it's an input mask. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.